It's your boy Bennett Knows, and I'm rocking with Kamaya. She's in the studio right now, and we're going to switch it up. We gonna, <laughs> I call this the hot seat, okay? okay? I'm going to put you in the hot seat. We're going to have 60 seconds on the clock. Okay. I have <clears throat> 20 either ors, okay? okay? So you got to go fast, you know? There's no time just <laughs> to think, you know? You just got to give your first answer, okay? okay? So, based on the time starts, once she answers the first question... All right, and then make sure you're moving quick because 60 seconds, we're done. Okay. All right, you got this? I got it. You got the heat? You can handle the heat? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so number one, makeup or team natural? Makeup. East coast or west coast? West side. Raindrop or drop top? Drop top. Day lit or party all night? Day lit. Diamonds or gold? Diamonds. Netflix and chill or go to a movie? Movies. Do you like to treat or get treated? Both. If you had to pick your mom or your dad. Womp, 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 neither. Punch, <laughs> punch a baby or eat a kitten. That baby getting hit. <laughs> Hard tacos or soft tacos? Soft. Hot girl summer or summer over? Hot girl. Sex in the shower or sex on the floor? Shower. Live next door to a strip club or a brothel? Strip club. Uh, Von Dutch or Chanel? Von Dutch. Fight or flight? Fight. Hennessy or tequila? Any. Scorpio or Gemini? Scorpio. 49ers or Raiders? Raiders. Are you going to run up his cards or bust those windows? I'm going to bust the windows. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fame or success? Chick success. Okay. All right. You're done. And was that 60 seconds? It was 57. Ooh, your girl did that. Let's get it. Let's <laughs> get it. I got these questions. Okay. I'm from the East Coast. Okay. Obviously, you're the queen of the West Coast. Yeah. Um, what, what is like growing up? On the West Coast for Kamaya. Let me know what that's all about. <laughs> man, I don't know. Just fun, man. Summertime, side mm -hmm. shows, functions, just the vibes. Okay. Sun oh. It's the sunshine, man. And you know that sunshine kind of fun and drama. Uh, yes. You know, my ass came over here for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> so I asked you, uh, your mom or dad, and yes. you said neither. You grew up in foster care, didn't you? Yeah, but I said that because it's like, if I got to pick, I'm going to say neither. Because I'm not about to make her mad or him mad. Because at the end of the day, no matter what I went through, I respect my parents. So. 100%. 100%. <laughs> well, I grew up in foster care, too. I yeah. grew up in over two dozen foster homes. Ooh. Remained a G through it all. That's you feel some me? bullshit, huh? It, it's bullshit, but I call it, like, my biggest blessing. Whenever yeah. I tell people, like, I grew up in foster care, they're yeah. like, oh, my God. And I'm like, nah. Like, I'm so dope yeah. because of this. Yeah, no, really. What was your experience, and how does that, like, shine through your work? I hated that shit. It was like a, a shell shock. It's like, uh, you, it's like tra traumatizing. Because mm -hmm. it's like you pull a child out of something that they used to and familiar with, and then make them have to go be around all these people who damaged themselves. Right. So that shit was toxic. I didn't like that shit. Did you, like, jump around? Because I know back yeah, home. Yeah, I bounced around like a motherfucker, because it's like being who I am, like, I was just always crying. Then I mm -hmm. started, because I was traumatized, I used to pee in the bed. Like, so I started peeing in the bed and yeah. being like that and all type of shit. And I used to always cry. I used to ball up in corners and cry. I want to go home. I want to go home. Wanna so go home. How, did you, how did you get through? Like, how do you empower yourself? How do you, like, use that experience to, like... Should I bossed up on all the motherfuckers? Hey, <laughs> boss up, boss up. And you know what? On your song, uh, Still I Am, yeah. you say, I did this shit with no diamonds. Did this with gold. You feel me? Yeah. That's why I asked you, diamonds are gold. Yeah. What does that mean to you? Shit, uh, it's just like diamonds in the rough type shit. You feel me? When you mm. first start off, you want something that's shining. Mm -hmm. But then you want something that bling once you start getting money because of what it represents. Okay. Exactly, exactly. You were just talking about how, like, people are always rocking diamonds and their baguettes and stuff. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like, that's just, like, hiding the, the real you. You Costumes, feel me? yeah. So it's like that gold, yeah. like the real life gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. Um, last night we got to listen to one eight hundred. I'm horny. I'm horny. Yeah. I asked you, sex in the shower or sex on the floor? You said the shower. The shower. Why the sh why the shower? Because it just seemed like more of a vibe. Like it's going up. It's water. It's slide. We're slipping, sliding. It's slipping, slide. I feel like on the floor. It's a thrill. It's like <laughs> if you gonna get this nut? You gotta work for it. Uh, I feel like on the floor you get that grip that you don't get in the shower. Oh, man, you that feel floor me? be uncomfortable. You got carpet burns. Ooh, or hardwood. Yeah, that excessive ass. You sliding everywhere and fuck that shit. I sh some people like to get beat up, bruises and stuff. Just saying. I ain't one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so the, the track's super dope. You got Too Short on there. Yeah. Tell me how that came about. I've been on that nigga forever. So yeah. yeah. But how, a favor, like call in and it happened. Yeah, and it just happened. It just happened. The vibe was right. 
<laughs> they're gonna go they're gonna go crazy with that one yeah, i'm telling bad. you that right now um you also got uh trina yeah, the yeah. baddest bitch yeah, on set it up absolutely. <laughs> come, come on and she killed it absolutely you killed it absolutely is that like a real is there inspiration behind that like what's the deal is, is that this... like your thing come on you gonna bust windows and is that your thing <laughs> It was like a record that was like, we going against the nigga versus us going against mm. each other. That's the whole vibe. Like, instead of us getting mad because this nigga cheating on us or playing both of us, we going to ride on that nigga. Word. Well, you know what? I have a little situation myself. You feel me? What if your, your fuck boy or whoever the situation is, you know, what if they don't got shit? Or all the shit that they do have is yours. How how we going to get back now? Punch what am nigga I mama, niggas love their mama. <laughs> oh no, I can't be out here punching mamas, but you are out here punching babies. You know what? <laughs> you know what? Gil, I'm gonna beat your ass. It's your son. <laughs> you Honestly, this motherfucker. You, what's the thing that Cardi <laughs> says? Uh, call your mom. Call your mom and tell. <laughs> So her, you raised a bitch. Yep, yep, yep. See, facts. <laughs> All right, so you have an exciting year, kicking it off with "Got It Made" February twenty yes. first. Uh, right now, set it up and still I am. They're buzzing. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes. It's just the beginning. Just yeah. the beginning. Um, I know you're all about consistency. Yeah. And that's what we're going to get from you in 2020, 2020 right? Sure. Um, so what could we expect from the project, uh, Got It Made? What could we expect from that? And how does it, like, launch that consistency over 2020? I feel like it's going to set the tone for, like, the new year. It's mm. a new sound. It's a new vibe versus what you used to you listen to right now. Mm-hmm. I feel like you kind of got, like, this certain sound, right, that's kind of, like, consistent. Yeah. And here comes me, like, creating a new wave and a vibration, and it's fun. It's I think it's going to change the, the whole registry for the next year. It's definitely lit. I was I was turned last night. Thank you. Thank <laughs> I, had, I had, I was like, you know what? Come on, about to be here. We got to get the vibe right. <laughs> I had one drink, listened to some of the tracks, had another drink, and I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> definitely a vibe. Definitely a vibe. Thank All you. right, so last question. Um, what does success mean to you? Because, you know, every we all have different experiences. I grew up on the East Coast. Yeah. You grew up on the West Coast. You know, but success is different to everyone. What does it mean to Kamaya? And are you successful right now, today? I feel like I'm uh, in a great position, but I don't feel like I'm successful. Success to me means mm. you're empowered enough to empower others. Ooh. So until I make other people thousandaires, millionaires, I'm not successful. Okay, okay. That's just my perspective. Nice. I like that. I like that. For me, I like to think... There's levels to success. Mm-hmm. If I wake up today and I'm happy, that's success. That's success right there. Yeah. But then there's also you want to put out goals and you want yeah. to manifest things. Mm-hmm. And like you just said, you're trying to make some millionaires, bring yeah. a lot of people onto the team. So yeah. we're definitely going to see that in 2020. Yeah, not 2020, probably. I'm probably trying to set the foundation to get to that. Because so okay. that's when you know you really reached that ultimate level of success when you can empower somebody else. And change their whole life and make sure they can feed their family and their family can feed their family. Mm-hmm. That's what you want. You want to... it's selflessness. Yes. That's what I'm about. Selflessness. You got to give yourself to others in order for them to, you know, become what they're going to be. Blah. Yeah. Hey. I want to see a nigga shine. I hate it. 100%. 100%. We shining on 2020. 2020. All right. So the new album. Got uh, it made. Got it made. February, February 21st. 21st. And make sure you look out for your girl because that's only the beginning. It's about to be real crazy. It's what about to be 100% the wave. It's the wave. Let, let them know where we got to find out. Like, how are we going to follow up on you? Let them know. A-A-M-A-I-Y-A-H on everything. That is my name. Hey, and just so you know, whoever sits in this hot seat next, they got to beat 57 seconds. 57 seconds, seconds, motherfucker. I'm setting the tone. Hey, hey. Don't miss shit. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much for being my first official interview. Thank you, bro. You're welcome.